We are pollinating the orange fringed orchid population we have out here. This year we counted 32 flowering plants. It's the most beautiful plant I think I know of in the state. It's right up there with the best of them. And our goal is to hand pollinate these orchids to ensure that they get pollinated because there's so few of them, a the small population like this. The insects and the butterflies do a good job of pollinating, but we want to ensure that these orchids set seed. Basically you go in and you extract the pollenia from the orchid flower itself and today we tried to take from the farthest ends of the population some of the plants that were farther away just to increase genetic diversity a little bit but basically pull the pollenia out put it on a toothpick or a piece of styrofoam and then you take it to the flower you want to pollinate and you basically stick that pollenia on the stigmatic surface and that pollinates the plant you're mimicking an insect at that point we want to make sure that these plants set seed we can go collect the seed then and spread it around a little farther. We'll let some of it just naturally drop off, seed this immediate area around the orchid. The orange fringed in Indiana is a state endangered plant, and I think it occurs on roughly a half a dozen sites restricted to the northwest portion of Indiana. Here they tend to be in the low mosquito-filled swamps, and the oak savanna, open oak woodland situation is what we're going for. Reduce the sassafras layer, Silver maples increase that light to allow the orchids to thrive. And along with fire is a very important component of this as well. This is the third year that we've hand pollinated this orange fringe population. So we've noticed increases in numbers. If you're tough enough to come battle the mosquitoes in the summertime and see one, it's totally worth it in my mind. These are rare organisms in our region, so Pictures only, absolutely. This is a state-dedicated nature preserve and niche's policy that there's no collecting of any plants.